Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So apologies that I'm leaning on my living room floor. The lighting was better down here is all I can say because of these stupid temporary blinds which take me ages to put up and down every single day. I can't wait to have my real blinds, I'm so excited. But alas, I do not have those yet. I wanted to vlog today because I haven't vlogged in a little while. I was away at the weekend in London with my friend Carl. We went to see Wicked for his belated birthday presents. It was amazing, we had a really good time. Wicked's incredible. I saw it when I was younger, but I couldn't remember like the story and things. Yeah, that was absolutely amazing. We wandered around Hyde Park, went to Spaghetti House for some pasta. So yeah, had a fantastic weekend, but now I'm back. In, I was gonna say rainy Wales, but it's actually sunny today and it was nice yesterday. Sunday was a washout, but it's Tuesday. Um, at work, as you can tell from my lovely hospital fleece and it is early, that's why my voice is croaky. It's half seven. Um, I'm just getting ready to make my breakfast and my coffee and then head off, but you can see a sneak peek in the background. My sofas came a couple of weeks ago now and I've just not vlogged, so and I, last week I was just not in the mood to vlog, I don't know what it was, I just had a bad week I guess. But I'm back in it so I wanted to show you my sofas which is very exciting, I've been so excited for these. It felt like it came really quickly as well, when we ordered them they said 8 weeks um, and that was the day I ordered them, the day after I got the keys to the house I think. Um, and it was eight weeks, but it went really quick. Um, I think because there was so much other stuff going on in that time that it kind of kept me busy. But, but yeah, my hair's still drying by the way, so if I'm faffing with it and it looks silly, it's because of that. I don't like to scrunch it out until it's dry um, to kind of keep the curl as much as possible. So yeah, for this bit of the morning, it looks pretty rubbish. Then by the time I've got to work, blitzed with the heat on in the car, it looks okay. So yeah, do not worry. But yeah, let me show you my sofa. So I'll start you over here. These are the next Wilson sofas in Tweedy Chenille Silver and um, they've got the light wood little legs on them. Oh my god, look! Sorry, I've just chucked the blanket on there. Look at my sofa! And guys, if you push that poof to join, it's basically like a bed. I can't, it's the best because that bit's like a chaise. Um, but yeah, it's not as big. Obviously, before I had the L-shaped sofa and it was quite structured down the side, so it did cut off a lot of the room, it felt. Um, but this doesn't come further than the door, so yeah, it doesn't cut off any of the room. Uh, cushions are also from Next, actually, and... As well as the sofas, I also have a new lamp as well, which I love, which is from Dunelm, and it matches in with... The light shade, which is also done Elm, which I had from my old house. So yeah, I really love the vibes of like the light wood and the grey. So that is kind of where I've been rotting. <laughs> and then the other sofa, which I've actually only sat on a couple of times. Because you know, it's not got massive poof that turns into a bed. But this one is obviously the same collection. Um, yeah, this is the medium size. And then that's the small with the chase. So... Yeah, I absolutely love them. They're so dreamy. Again, I've just chucked a blanket on the back. It's been really chilly, so I've started getting like the blankets out. Um, but yeah, I just love it. It looks so good in this room. No other updates. TV and TV stands still loving. Like I said, blinds haven't come yet, but yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. I love it. I think this living room is looking really cute and really cozy and I just feel really comfortable in here. I spend a lot of time in here after work so I wanted it to be like my little oasis and I love it. I'm really enjoying spending time in here so far so yeah, really happy. Obviously the next thing will be the blinds but sofas, tick, all done, lamp, tick, exciting. The old sofas however are still in here because um, one of my friends from work's son and his girlfriend have just moved so they are yeah looking to have sofa which is amazing they've done me a huge favour it saves me like booking a charity collection um, and her dad's got a van so they're just waiting for him to be free so yeah lovely that will all be going um, obviously when they can get the van and when I'm free and we can line up dates um, I did do a clean up of the kitchen yesterday because I'd been away at the weekend and I usually clean at the weekend so it was looking interesting um, but it's looking good now so yeah, apart from the dishes I need putting away, but everything's clean. So yeah, no other real kind of house updates. It was mainly the sofas that I wanted to show you, but yeah, I love them. I think it looks really cozy in here. I feel really comfortable in here and that is all that matters.
got breakfast to take with me because I'm in a rush as always because I decided to show you guys my new sofa so I'm gonna blame you um no but yeah I've got my breakfast take with me got Cheerios and I've just made a coffee and yeah someone commented saying am I gonna do like autumn vlogs and stuff like that the answer is hell yeah I'm just not there yet the weather is still really unpredictable here in Wales and we're actually having some sun at the moment so I'll have like the occasional night that I'm like oh I'll get cozy ready for autumn but I'm not there guys I'm not there we're still getting the occasional sunny day but just in case you are wondering if I'm an autumn girly and if the autumn vlogs will eventually be here I don't know I'll give you a little clue so there you go, you got to stick around for a little bit longer because it's still September guys, the start of September. So yeah, I'm still holding out hope for a bit of sun. Did also book a holiday the other day, so my mum and I are going to Gran Canaria in October, the week before my birthday. So it'll be the 21st, um, so yeah, I will get a bit of sun before the never-ending depression of the six-month winter. So yeah, I'm really happy about that, I'm so excited, but yeah. If you're excited for the autumn content, just keep waiting for the weather. I'm waiting for the weather. The second we have more than like one rainy, miserable day in a row, you best believe we're going full autumn. But yeah, for now, still not convinced. I need to leave for work. Um, I'll probably next catch up with you after, unless I do anything overly exciting for like lunch or throughout the day. Highly doubtful. But yeah, busy, busy, off to work. I'll catch up with you soon. Good evening, I look really disheveled and I don't know what it is, I don't know why, the hair's not popping. I think because I've been in clinic and writing letters and playing with it and yeah, not looking too hot, not gonna lie, but that's fine because we're not doing anything this evening. <laughs> um, I've just got home, went to pick up my Tesco Click and Collect, um, so I've got a fridge full of food again, which is lovely. I'm just gonna have something quick for dinner tonight, probably a jacket potato or beans on toast or something like that. So I don't need to do much cooking. Apart from that, no plans this evening, really. I need to, well, I've not uploaded anything in absolutely ages on my YouTube. And I went to upload the Sheffield vlog and realized I hadn't done an ending clip. So I'm gonna do that tonight so I can finish editing that and get that up. Um, so yeah, that's on my to-do list. But otherwise, just chilling. Oh, I did also have some new jewelry that I wanted to show you as well. So we'll do that later. Can't argue that that is a winning dinner. <laughs> I've just got cozy in the living room. It looks super dark, but it's not. It's just because I've got the thing on the candle. I've lit this pomegranate and bias one. It's a gift from my friend Carl, but I think it's from uh, Sainsbury's, I want to say. I'll have to ask him, but yeah, it smells amazing. It's like a great dupe for the Jo Malone pomegranate noir. Um, so yeah, really enjoying that. I've just lit that now. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not that dark in here. There we go, there we go. Now it's brightened up. I'm watching a YouTube video. Someone clicking on fishing links to see what happened. Very entertaining. Um, and yeah, I've just lit my little lamp so you can see it's looking all cozy in here. Just had a cup of tea. It's like half eight now, I think. Um, yeah, I love this lamp. I put like a warm light in it as well because I just prefer the way it looks. It's all cozy. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with what I'm doing, you know, lazing about, watching YouTube and chill. I've just come up to bed and I wanted to show you some gorgeous jewellery pieces that I got recently from MS Blue. So the team very kindly reached out, which I can't believe I'm saying, so they did gift me these products. Um, I've not been paid to say anything nice about them, they were just a gift. Um, so yeah, I thought I would chat you through what I picked from their website. It came packaged lovely in these cute little bags um, and then they're in boxes too, this gorgeous baby blue colour and then another box inside so they're definitely very secure. This pair I picked are these little hoops that are like ribbed and gold in colour, they're kind of open, they're not full hoops, they're like half hoops. Um, yeah and I really like these, they look really pretty with my other gold jewellery and they're just like they're like simple but also they add a bit of like glamour you know so yeah I really like those. Then also went for similar so gold hoops but these are more plain and they are full hoops as well. These are literally like I said plain gold hoops 
they've got a nice kind of chunky style to them which I really like it's really in at the moment like chunky little small hoops so yeah I'm really happy with those I really like the tone of gold as well they're not too yellow um, but they are definitely like a gold color and these last earrings are really special because they're actually part of the blue for pink collection so this is a collection in honor of October which is breast cancer awareness month and they are donating 100% profit for every piece of jewellery purchased in the Blue for Pink collection to breast cancer awareness organisations. So they've created this collection purely to support this cause. Um, it includes necklaces, rings, earrings, um, featuring pink sapphires and blue sapphires with breast cancer ribbon designs. So I picked these absolutely gorgeous blue earrings. You might not be able to see the colour properly in this light. They are rose gold bows with the kind of diamantes and then blue sapphires. And I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Obviously the cause is amazing. I would encourage everyone to go and check them out. And support charity and buy yourself some beautiful jewellery. What better reason to treat yourself to some new jewellery, hey? So I will link the three pieces I got down below. Like I said, I've not been paid to mention their brands or the cause or any of the jewellery. They just reached out and very kindly wanted to send me some pieces and I really like them. So I wanted to mention them on here in case you guys are in the market for some new jewellery or in case you wanted to support a really good cause. So yeah, I'm excited about that stuff. Oh, new angle unlocked. Hello guys, you are just um, on my towel rail in my bathroom. Just turn my hair up because I'm gonna get ready for bed. And yeah, today has been chill. It was, uh, well, I was like really busy. I had, had a clinic, but three people didn't come. So I'm confused because like, is there something going on that I don't know about? That bit has been annoying me all day. Um, but yeah, three people didn't come, which is a shame. The internet wasn't connected on the desktop, so I couldn't do any of my letters. Thankfully managed to find one that was free. But yeah, it was just, and I had one of our lovely dietetic students from Cardiff Uni with me as well. So obviously, you know, you want to give them an amazing experience and you're like, um, this is actually the reality. People don't come and then you're bogged down in letters and then the IT lets you down. So <laughs> really sorry that it's not a positive experience, but it is quite a realistic experience. Yeah, bless her. But, you know, she got to see me do some letters then when I eventually could log on. So yeah, it was an okay day. Um, I've my beans on toast, delightful. But I'm actually excited. So in my last job, I used to work from home two or three days a week. In this job, I don't have a laptop and a lot of my work is face-to-face. -face. So my clinics obviously are face-to-face -face and um, I work on the wards as well and the paediatric assessment unit, seeing patients face-to-face -face with doctors and stuff like that. My last job was community, so a lot more kind of telephone contacts, I suppose, and Microsoft Teams meetings, whereas this is like a bit more hands-on on the ward. But tomorrow I've got an exciting meeting that I can actually do from home. That's 12 till 5. So I'm going to be at the hospital at 8.30 till just before half 11, then get back drive in my lunch break and then eat during that meeting, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that'll be all right. I think I mentioned before I was doing social media for uh, part of the British Dietetic Association, the paediatric group. I'm a social media officer for them. So the group, so the meeting is like a committee meeting for that committee. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's my first one since I joined the team. Um, it is face to face, but because I only joined recently, obviously it was short notice for me to go. It's in London. So next time, obviously I'd love to go face to face with a bit more notice but this time it's going to be joining on teams which is fine um and so yeah it'd be nice to mix it up a bit work from home last week with work was just so hectic that i'm like oh a little afternoon from home slightly worrying about when i'm doing gonna do all my admin because that's usually my wednesday job but you know it is what it is we'll just have to reprioritize thursday morning so yeah hopefully that'll be good since i don't have to pack lunch with me as well so i can just um take some breakfast and then some snacks for the morning then have lunch when I get back so yeah I'll probably take you along with me for tomorrow as well um because on the workday vlogs I don't tend to vlog as much because I'm at work all day so I don't vlog so it's just the mornings and the evenings really I'm gonna get some sleep and I will catch up with you in the morning good night good morning guys it is now Wednesday I'm just having my Cheerios um yeah I was thinking the other day it's nearly hot chocolate Weetabix season nearly 
have still been having porridge but been having overnight oats so I'm excited to get back into hot porridge but also yeah what I was obsessed with last year is the chocolate chip wheat fix not the minis I find them too hard I like a soggy wheat fix <laughs> so I like the big ones the big chocolate chip ones and then I stick some soya milk on and then stick them in the microwave just for a little bit just so they get all mushy and warm the chocolate chips go all melty big fan big fan so i have to get a box of them in when the weather turns for good and i'm getting my autumnal merch out i'll have to also get a box of chocolate wheat bix but yeah today just um tesco multigrain hoops and blueberries i feel like i'm losing my voice can you hear that um <clears throat> yeah my job is obviously a lot of talking like with clinics and things so wouldn't be unheard of for me to lose my voice, although I do have a clinic tomorrow afternoon, so yeah. But I've got that meeting today, like I mentioned last night, so I'm coming home um, to start that for 12. So this morning I've just got loads of letters to catch up on. Um, lots of printing, lots of folding, typing the letters, so I'm hoping I can get pretty much caught up with that this morning if nothing else comes in which it always does so yeah we'll see and then head back for the meeting anyway i'm gonna stop rambling eat my cheerios um i'll probably catch up with you again when i get home i'll make some lunch not sure what i'm gonna have probably just something quick so i can join the meeting um and then yeah get set up so yeah catch up with you in a bit good afternoon i was gonna catch up with you at lunchtime it is now a bit later and that's because i had to go straight into the meeting as soon as i got home because i fell over <laughs> i fell over look at that actually fell over my shoe came off i tripped over a curb I fell. It doesn't even look that bad. Guys, it's so painful. Have any of you had like a little cut as an adult? It's so painful. As a kid, wouldn't have fazed me. Would have got back up, carried on running. But now I was just, just walking out of work, right? Got out the door, caught my foot in a kib. Shoe flew off. Sketches let me down. And uh, yeah, fell over. It's really sore. Really, I won't go on about it. It's really sore. So yeah, I fell over, um, had to recover from my fall, drove back in a rush. But yeah, the meeting's done now, <laughs> it's just finished. So I have a bit of time before I need to leave for Slimming World, which I've got tonight. So I thought I would sit outside and read some of my book. Um, because I thought that'd be a nice thing to do. It's really sunny. Um, oh, you wouldn't know it. I'm wearing a long sleeve top with a big fleece over it. But yeah, that's because just because I'm always cold. I'm such a freezer. And you know, after my traumatic fall, it's the equivalent of a foil blanket, you know, to, to help me recover. Um, so yeah, I might go and read my book, have a little snack, and then yeah, I'll be all good for Slim and World later. I can't believe what a nice day it is. Like I said, autumn's just it's not here yet it keeps teasing us but i'm not ready to fully embrace it because it's very sunny but yeah i'm gonna go and read my book i've got my trusty glasses so i can actually see the book that's a good start yeah after slimming world i'll probably just make dinner do the dishes the usual thrilling content that you come here for yeah i'll catch up with you in a little while Right, so I'm just making dinner. I had a little maintain at Swimming World tonight, which is absolutely fine because I was away at the weekend and ate pretty much whatever I wanted. So yeah, I'm all right with that. But dinner, I'm gonna do some frozen veg because, right, big revelation, I'm not a chef. When I moved into this house, I guessed it myself. I was like, Emily, you're gonna have so much time now. You're living so close to work. You're gonna be able to cook things from scratch. No. I can. I've proved to myself I can. I've cooked a few meals from scratch. Uh, it's not good because I just spend the whole cooking time picking snacks and then by the time the meal's actually cooked I'm not even hungry. So quick meals are where it's at for a little while until I adjust. So I've bought this pasta sauce which is no added sugar chunky veg pasta sauce. I've got some wholemeal pasta, some that's low fat cheese and some frozen veggies because it's nice and quick and easy i'm not going to be picking it stuff while i'm cooking it because it doesn't take too long to cook and do you know what we're not all built to be chefs okay so any judgment i'm not interested because this is my dinner and i'm excited <laughs> 
Bon appetit. I've got some of the corn Swedish style balls, frozen veg, wholemeal pasta and sauce and cheese. Yum. Yeah, this vlog has been full of unattractive angles. Perspective husbands, please don't watch this one. Give it a miss. Actually, immediately click off the channel. Forget you never saw it. Hi, everyone else, aka non- romantic interest it's just me and you now so i've just gotten to bed it is wednesday night we are finally over halfway through the week i'm happy about it <laughs> the weeks are going really quick to be fair my job's really busy so time does tend to go quite quickly which is good but yeah i'm tired i'm ready for another weekend my friend holly is coming this weekend and yeah we're gonna i think she's coming saturday morning we're gonna go to cardiff bay saturday night go to giggling squids maybe come back here and have a cocktail or something and then sunday she requested to go to the beach which i love because i'm obsessed with the beach so i think we're gonna go down to maybe barry island because i think that's my closest beach now um and just go for some breakfast and some coffee so maybe i'll vlog this weekend that could be fun i'll see what holly thinks but i'm gonna end this vlog here because it's been a nice little couple of days with you guys hope it's not been too boring um i mean you got to see the new sofa so that was my main update but yeah it's been fun to vlog kind of midweek i feel like it's perked my week up a bit so thank you for that if you enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye